Okay, I did some auction squatting where, you know, I tried to find sellers who have a bunch of postings for, particularly for packs um, that end roughly at the same time. Um, I found one spot that I, I was going to do a series of this, but it just happened so often. I just kept doing it every week. I figured it was going to get boring. So I did some of it. So here's one auction seller that I found, but actually happened to find another one a few weeks ago. So I picked, so I decided to pick up those packs and you could probably tell what they are just by looking at them. So, um, I'm going to start by, with a warm up by this, um, 2013. 12, 13 uh, National Hockey Card USA pack. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. See what it looks like. All right. So we got America's franchises. Um, Ansi Kopitar. Uh, let's take a look at the back. These are really sticking. LA Kings, got Ilya Kovalchuk, former first round, uh, first overall pick. Like the New Jersey Devils. Got Kenny Malkin for the uh, for for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Of course, we have the uh, checklist. Um, we see that there's only 15 cards. Like nor I I know in more recent years, like late as early as 2015, they have uh, they would have 16 cards, and you'd have to have to make a purchase at a store to get that 16th card. So not doesn't not happening here. Got America's icons. Uh, Mike Medano, which is pretty much the same as the back. Same same. Same as the other cards. I've got America's franchises and America's American icons. Cool. Nice to see that the um, always nice to see some of the I guess the veteran like the the retired players um, and all that. Okay, so start off slow. I'm gonna actually save these um, 16, 17. Con the 16, 17 content for a different video. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right, so let's start off with Opeachy Platinum. Let's get that uh, rainbow or retro. Hobby packs for this are so expensive, and, and, and blasters are just, blasters are still a really good deal. For, oh, we got a. Photo driven of Bowen Byram. I like the I love the black and white. It's really cool. Gabe Velarde, Marky Rookie, Brad Marchand. All right, put that aside. All right, got a pack of SPA. I actually picked this up for part of my part of the auction. It was like seven dollars American. I'm like, all right, why not? I should really stop. You should you should really stop doing these auctions because he's probably taking a huge loss. Oh, what's this? Is this uh, some pink back? Might be some sort of was a sign of the times, maybe. I don't know. So Jack Michael, Max Patch ready. Oh, it's probably like a probably like a retro. If we're gonna be completely honest. Yeah, got Tubo Teravinen, SP authentic. Retro. All right, so now we're gonna get into the bigger stuff. So we got seven oh oh seven oh eight uh, series one. Um, so yeah, this is this is a big one. Uh, got looking for Patrick Kane or Carey Price. Those are the two. Big ones. Um, there's also Nick Backstrom from Washington and uh, Bobby Ryan, second overall pick to Sidney Crosby, Lucic Krejci. There's 
see what we'll see if we can get anything. We got uh, yeah, young guns. There's some inserts, memorabilia. It looks like it's a fair some some case hits. Uh, pretty much similar to uh, really similar setup to MVP. Well, this looks like feels like a seems like a thick pack. So maybe we might get a jersey. Yeah, I picked most of this up for most of the stuff for under ten dollars a pack plus shipping. The shipping was kind of expensive because it was the seller was in the, in the states. All right, yeah. Ilya Brizgalov. Seen him on uh, YouTube. He's pretty pretty funny guy. Um, Marcel Hosa, Chris Draper, Red Wings, Stephen Weiss. And we got this really aggressive filler. My goodness, Ray Emery. This Chris Pronger, Andrew Raycroft, Peter Prucha. So this looks like it's a base pack. I mean, I've seen this with like, um, I've seen this with like packs from that decade. You know, it's like I, I saw it with MVP, and it's like oh, that's that was kind of disappointing. But I mean, for ten dollars, ten dollars a pack, you know, whatever. It's Worth a shot, ten dollars plus shipping. So it probably would be would have been around the end of the day, maybe about thirteen. Yeah. So, all right, got some fifteen, sixteen series two. Um, I normally wouldn't buy. I normally wouldn't buy this just because the young guns crop is really not that. It's, it's quite weak. Um, really, I think the only ones that are worth getting are. Um, or Eichel, Eichel and Saros. I think that's about it. Let me do, do another quick check. Um, yeah, I, th I mean, they're, like the McDavid content, the McDavid secondary, secondary content clearly outshines um, the rest of the stuff. Um, what's the other? There's like Linus Olmark. Um, place for Boston right now, but that's a about it so hopefully what we got here got something shiny so, Uberdo. okay so we got a dougie hamilton um some sort of it looks like it's a silver i know that i know like black black borders are a thing but i think this might be just like the next level up from just a regular cardboard. Dougie Hamilton U U two. Oh, that's update two, I guess. I guess the numbering is uh, different. I've seen normally with the Opeaches, they um, they run they they just continue from the end of the Opeachy set, I think. So I was a bit surprised to see that. Um, let me take a quick look. There are, so according to this, there are rainbow foil parallels. So that looks like it's a it's a box hit. So that's not so bad. Um, hope we can get something something hob something hobby exclusive. I mean, it's probably like only like one one a box or so, but we'll see. Again, at the price, I mean, why not? I, I, I got these at, why not? So, uh, got a got a checklist. It's just a base checklist. Um, these packs are really sticking. We got a Young Guns of uh, Mark Alt. Um, I really don't know much about hockey in this era for the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I don't know if that's, uh, I'm just kind of looking, looking at online price guys to see. Most of them are kind of, 
most of the most of the young guns in this again in this set just aren't aren't really that good. I think this product is way overpriced. I mean, really, you're just looking for like maybe McDavid content or like rookie port like rookie portraits from series one, and those don't really go for much any. Rookie portraits and canvases for series one from carryover series one. Oh, got a Gino Malkin canvas there. I mean, for, yeah, but for the price, the price for this, I, I think it's just way too high in my opinion. So at least we didn't get a base pack like that. Oh, seven, oh eight. I mean, I would have been happy with like an insert or a or something like that. Um, all right, so let's do 1314 Series 2 here with uh, Patrick Kane here. Um, so, yeah, 1314 is kind of like a, as you can see here, it's a double rookie class. Um, I think, you know, there's probably, so like a whole lot of carryovers and stuff. I think this is, if I were to, getting back into it, like, the years I'd really focus on would, would be 1314 because the rookie class seems to be pretty strong there, and and there's a lot of carryovers. Same with like 2021, 20 or 21, 22. Um, lots of carryovers there as well. So let's see what we got. Um, I mean, I've seen the young guns, so I have no, but I had no idea what the base looked like. Okay, so we got an OPG update of Vincent Le Cavalier. All right, this looks like a basic. Um, basic there, like got all of, like every, all the season, like all fourteen seasons. I think he was a first overall pick too. Oh, game jersey. Oh, nice. And fewer base. It's always a good thing. I got a UD game jersey of David Descharnay. All right. It's kind of like a little, little square, little, little square. Uh, you got your congratulations. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, I guess that was definitely worth a shot. Um, so let's just do a quick recap. So we got this, we got this, got a, got a, got a game jersey card, which I think is pretty rare or it's, let's see here. It's about, it's a box, it looks like it's a box hit, like you could either, yeah, so that's not, that's, it's always, always good to get that, um, for our, and we also got this Opeachy update of Vincent Le Cavalier, uh, for 15, 16 series two, we got a Gino Malkin canvas, didn't get the young guns that I wanted, Mark Alt, um, got his, Dougie Hamilton Silver par Rainbow Parallel. And then for 2021, we got a Bone Barn Photo Driven and a Teravinen, uh, Teravinen Retro. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, yeah, so next week, um, my plan is to do, um, you know, you know, I think this, this week I just kind of was, it was more about previews and stuff where I do, uh, okay, here's, here's one pack of what I'm going to do next week. So I did a, um, I, I opened a pack of 2122 artifacts. I have a box of it. So I'm going to be opening up 2122 artifacts and I have a mega box of, um, 1617, 
uh, Series 2. So I'm going to open that along with, with these as well. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I figured once again, it was just found, 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 found some of these packs at a pretty, at a pretty low price. So on eBay, so I figured why not? Um, it's always good to see what you, you never know what you're going to get. Um, all right. Thanks.